Thank you. In Catoosa County, a man was caught on video entering vehicles. Catoosa County Sheriff's investigators are searching for him and they would like some tips to identify who he is. Channel 3's Tanisha Cordell joins us now to show us what happened. Tanisha. Well, Cindy, this happened early Tuesday morning on Lafayette Road in Rossville. Sheriff Gary Sisk says a tire business next door caught it all on their surveillance camera. It was early Tuesday morning when Catoosa County Sheriff deputies say a man called 911 saying he witnessed another man trying to steal his car. It awoke the people that were there, so they came out and uh, from what I understand was they were coming out, the subject left the area. Sheriff Gary Sisk says the call came from this building on Lafayette Road. He says the man's car was unlocked. There were a few items taken and then uh, there were also some items left on the scene from the individual, some food items, a cold bottle of water, and some chocolate milk. According to the incident report, they also found a power drill in the driver's seat and metal shavings scattered across the floor. It also notes the suspect entered a second car at that same address. Neither car was damaged. We are listing it as a, as a break-in. This is the first uh, that's been reported up there, so this isn't something uh, of a rash of crimes that we think this subject might be involved in. A few hours later, deputies came across this surveillance video from a tire business next door. It captured the suspect on a bike behind the business. You can see him park his bike and eventually walk to the car lot next door. That's when the video provided by the sheriff's office cuts off. But the incident report says the video continues, showing the suspect trying to get into several locked cars on the lot. I think it's more of a crime of opportunity. You have to be in the area and thought, hey, I'll go check these over here and start checking doors. Well, Sheriff Sisk says they have found the suspect's bike. They plan to share a picture of that soon to help identify that man. He is described as a white man who is about six feet tall. So if you have any information, give police a call. For now, live in the studio, Tanisha Cordell, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.